Roughly four months and 26 funerals led to this. The strictest gun laws nationwide, or at least that's what Connecticut lawmakers are calling their latest deal. This comes in the wake of the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary that left 20 children and six educators dead. For legislators, this is a compromise bill. The bipartisan deal would require background checks for all gun sales and ban the manufacture of new high-capacity ammunition magazines. Additionally, the proposal would expand the existing assault weapons ban, adding 100 more models to the list, create a statewide registry for dangerous weapon offenders, the first of its kind in the nation. Buyers would also need a statewide eligibility certificate to purchase any rifle, shotgun, or ammunition. And while these mandates represent a bipartisan deal for legislators, there is something in here that people on both sides may not like. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's a package that a majority of people in Connecticut uh, will be proud uh, when we vote on Wednesday. It's the more lenient rules on magazines that are receiving the most backlash from Newtown victims' families. Instead of outlawing large capacity magazines altogether, the bill lets owners keep them if they declare how many they own and abide by the new restrictions. With these, magazines could only be loaded with 10 or fewer rounds. Unless in their own home or at a shooting range, they can be fully loaded there. But for some, this still doesn't address what happened in Newtown. One parent whose son was killed said, We've learned that in the time it took him to reload in one of the classrooms, 11 children were able to escape. We ask ourselves every day, every minute, if those magazines had held 10 rounds, forcing the shooter to reload at least six more times, would our children be alive today? Meanwhile, the NRA is set to announce on Tuesday its ideas to arm school guards across the country. The Connecticut legislature is set to vote on the broad-reaching gun control package Wednesday. Many believe it will easily pass through the House and Senate. For Newsy, I'm Megan Murphy, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.